What is up, my Vetch crew? Nick Morris here. Welcome to another episode of Red Vetch's Hawaii. If it's your first time here, welcome aboard. If you're coming back, welcome, welcome back, back aboard. aboard. This guy right here. So we're taking this guy on his canoe right here. We're going to dive off a canoe today. So we have Kala. This is the kid you guys saw with the, with the rat in the rat video. Then we have Beanut back there. Brayton. But we call him Beanut. Kind of a, it's, you know, it's kind of a different, yeah. So we're going to load up. We're going to take the canoe. And it's going to be an adventure today. So here we go. And we'll see you on the water. Yeah. <laughs> the natives are angry. <laughs> we have to pick up one more though. We have to pick up one more in the back of the canal. <laughs> this is Kailua kind of things, these kids. Hurry up, Roy! Hi! Zach, this is what happens when your captain's 15 years old. This is the kind of stuff we deal with. Everybody wants to be a captain until it's time to do some captain shit. <laughs> We're going on a trip on my favorite rocket ship. We had some dirty fuel. He had old fuel. Got the fuel cleaned out so I'm going to go now. Max warp speed. Welcome to Revenge of Hawaii. Hit the like. Save a dolphin right there. You see him there. I gotta save him. He's not with us today because he's out fishing like way the hell outside by himself. So. Save it off, hit a like, hit the subscribe. We'll see you when we get to the spot. Here's some B-roll for you guys. This was Roy's first drop of the day. A super nice male table boss. Kala told me the day before, this spot holds a lot of kole. So I knew when I was coming here, I was gonna bring my three prong. I wasn't even gonna bring a gun. But he said that the deal about over here to earn your rights is you have to use the four foot shorty three prong. After that, you can do whatever you want. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter how many shots you whiffed. As long as you got the first one, it's all that counts. Here goes Kala taking his first drop of the day. He saw a nice pile of kole, and if you watch after his shot, a huge pile of money is right behind this pile of kole. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I've only recently started getting back into diving. And this spot for sure holds the most kole I've ever seen since we got back into diving. With a few bad shots here and there, but you know what? When it's a bad one like this, at least it doesn't go to waste. It definitely helps to feed the eels. <laughs> Here goes Roy Boy taking a nice shot on a Panama Uhu. He definitely was getting some nice shots in that day.
It was a nice size Joel. I saw some underneath the ledge over here and I couldn't find it. I thought I knew which way it went, but it was gone. But I was like, since I'm down here, I might as well take another shot on a cole. Might as well get something out of it. There's only one thing that beats having one cole. It's going down and having two cole. I was too lazy to swim back to my float. I was like, I'm gonna try and get one more and make it a double. Here goes Kala taking a bomb drop on a nice size Kole. This guy, I don't know how many he caught, he teed off on the Kole that day though. Here I go, taking another drop on a small little pile of Kole's. I guess one out of three isn't that bad. I guess. Maybe not. Let me know in the comments what you think. Here goes Roy Boy targeting another table boss. He really likes those. Too bad he had his gold post in the wrong same mostly the whole day. Here goes Kala taking another drop. Typically over here where the Kole are, are about maybe 20 or 25 feet, not super deep. Deep enough where it makes it fun, but not too dangerous. But as always, you should always die with a partner. So we're pretty much diving with two guys, one up, one down. Everybody had their buddy and we kind of stuck together. I think this is the only bad thing about diving with a partner. This is me and this is Roy Boy watching me. Let me know what you think. I wish I would have had the T-bar for a situation like this. I kind of messed up, but uh, I fed the reef. You'll see what I mean in a second. It didn't go to waste. I went back down to get it afterwards and the hoggies took care of business. Here goes Kala, always messing around with his T-bar with some Kole on it. I swear this kid must be part dolphin. He's the only guy I know that dives without a snorkel. But if you want to see the real dolphin, give this video a thumbs up. See the real dolphin. Here goes Kala, taking another drop. The Kole like to pocket up these little cracks here and there. I guess the fun thing about Kole also is, they're not the smartest fish. You can shoot one and your friends will come out and look at you and like, what happened to him? Where did he go? So it makes it kind of fun. And they're super good eating. It's always a plus. The benefits of having a boat definitely make you good where you can dive places where not too much people dive. And that's why you see such an abundance of fish on a reef like this. It's not really touched by a lot of people. So I guess having a boat definitely does have its benefits. Or in this situation, having a canoe. Like I said earlier, these Kole are not the smartest fish ever. As you can see here, I take a shot, I miss, and he sticks around like, what was that? That's weird. Kole, awesome fish. And Baroy, same job, who can get the most Kole? You like Uncle Show? Same time, right? I'm gonna shoot 10 times more hoggy than he is. <laughs> okay, let's do it. So here we go. Roy Boy wants to have a little bit of a contest. 
This is the second time we did this. The first round, Roy showed me how he had like four, I think. I had one. This time around, Daddy showed him what's up. I had two, and he had zero. If you listen carefully, you can hear a lot of ding, ding. Roy Boy hitting all the rocks in the background. Uh, Bina was diving with us that day. Unfortunately, his dive partner's camera, who's Roy, was terrible. So we didn't get any footage of Beanut. But Beanut, good going. He had his personal best uh, Joe Lewis that day. So good going. Nice, nice gold he had. Over a pound for sure. You got one! You got two! Yeah! You first two fish all day! You got it! If you're looking for any of the equipment I use in this video, such as the wetsuit or the fans and a mask and all the dive stuff, feel free to check out the links in my bio. Support local, hammerhead spear guns, adventure wetsuits. Got it pulling. Stay tuned for the kitchen cook at the end of this. It's gonna be epic. Here we go, the flying porpoise. Come on. How are you doing? Oh, oh my god. Oh, you guys don't think I can get in? No. Yeah. Oh my god. Now we have to make the fun way back. We're not having a flip over, it's kind of rough now. We almost took twice already. Oh, don't, don't get whiskey throttle it. Oh, no. Dude, I don't want to flip. I don't want to swim in. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Oh, This way he doesn't have his driver's license yet. I don't want to flip over on here. Get two miles out. We don't want to swim on a canoe. We'll see you again inside for our catch and cook. Coley style. Fire! Oh my Whoa. god. The worst yeah. captain ever! I'm trying to flip on the three times. Get off the fuck off here. Whoa, break it! Ah! I'll swim! I'm not ready to go home yet. My wife hits me. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> something ain't right here. Oh, <laughs> So we're back at home now. Diving yesterday was epic with the boys. Call them boys because they're all under seven. They're all under eighteen. They're all kids, pretty much. Sixteen, I think, fifteen and seventeen. But those kids are bomb divers. Yeah, yeah. But those kids, those guys, those guys are hammered. You just saw the video. How much action those kids are doing. But uh, I wanted Coley's. All I wanted was Coley's. I got him Coley's, and somehow I got somebody's mini thrown in my bag. I'm pretty sure it's Claus mini that he shot with Roy Boy's gun when he balled it to switch out. <laughs> so today is actually my daughter's birthday. Reagan, today's her sixth birthday. So. I was like, ah, we'll find some, we'll find some cole and she wanted call me. So I'm gonna find some cole for whoever's it's a call me. So I'll show you a fast simple way to clean if you haven't seen it before. But if you can, give this video a thumbs up. Save a dolphin. It's always much appreciated. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Um, I'll show you a fast way to clean these and we'll fry them up and I'll show you the kids pretty much pounding them out or enjoying them. Anyway, here we go. Let's clean some cole. Water holes technique. The best way to scale them. Try again, cut down, straight angle, pulls the guts out. It doesn't get any simpler than that. Super simple now, all you gotta do is couple slits so it all gets inside. That's it, couple slits for all get inside. Super, super simple. 
you got to do the rest, you're good to go. I got some cola. All I'm going to do is jazz up just a little Hawaiian salt. That's it. Just a little Hawaiian salt. Nothing crazy. That's all you need. <laughs> bon appetito. Guaranteed. Uh, so, let's go before we get hot. And we're good to go. We got action. So, oil is hot, ready to go. Throw a coli in. Honestly, with the coli, the smaller ones, the better. Honestly. I put them all at about, about 320 degrees. So, it means like perfect right about there. But, good to go. Good to go. gonna be good it's gonna be good see you once it's done it's almost dark so see you once it's done see you once it's done some good stuff coming up I just got done cooking the first batch of cole right here oh my god the goldenness at least you got some Colby on the grill for Reagan but this right here this is my favorite got a little bone in there Come on. kids love the tails last time you put too much Oh, thank you. This is my favorite fried fish in the world right here. Thanks for watching, guys. <sighs> if you like seeing Koli diving, you guys don't mind seeing Koli diving, or maybe we'll eventually check out some other stuff, but to me, Koli is my favorite. If you guys like seeing it, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments. <laughs> and uh, I guess back to the boat for the boys. <laughs> See you at the boat. A piece of fish in my nose, so at least it was teasing me. <laughs> Keep laughing. I'm sure we're in your bra. All right, thanks for diving us today. As always, tight line, stay fishing. We'll see you on the water. And if you haven't already, hit the like button, save a dolphin. And I guess we'll see you on the next canoe ride. <laughs> Roy Boy's at home. We dropped him off at the canoe earlier. He didn't want to walk. So, out here, we're cooking the cow beef. I literally ate half the, the koi. There's only like half of them left. Totally just my most favorite fish. But that's it. I promise that's it. I'll see you guys next week Saturday. Hello. I'm going to eat the rest, I think. <laughs>